a terrible fall. They are the Army's elite parachute team, the best of the best, performing at air shows, festivals, and sports stadiums across the country. Combat trained soldiers never imagining that it would be a nighttime performance training jump in Florida that nearly killed one of the Golden Knights. I got multiple patients with uh, spinal injuries, loss of sensation and movement. They're talking about Sergeant First Class Richard Young, the most critically injured of the Golden Knights after colliding with a fellow soldier midair. At that point, we started spinning and we spun from roughly 24, 2,500 feet into the ground. Young, barely conscious, his body shattered. I want you to list your injuries for me. I broke my right fibula, two toes, shattered my pelvis, broke my femur, broke all but one rib on the left side, C-spine fracture, skull fracture, and I broke my jaw. Young remembers nothing about that night. His medic was calling me. As soon as I saw her number, I knew instantly there's no other reason she would call me. Doctors warning Trina that her husband was unlikely to survive. I couldn't really imagine him not making it. And after two months in a medically induced coma, Young proved his wife right. Young's recovery is far from over. And even though Young will not return to the elite parachute team, he will be back. And I know the one big thing you want to do is... I can't wait to jump out of a plane again. Martha Raddatz, ABC News, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. He is a fighter and a daredevil. What an inspiration. Yeah. Well, that's what's making news in America this morning. Samantha Rivera, part of your home team. from WTVO 17 and your home team. Eyewitness News in the Morning starts now. Firefighters work to make sure they are ready for any kind of car crash, the preparations they are taking, and what makes it difficult. And a ceremony honors a select group of Vietnam veterans, the circumstances that affected the vets long after the war. Plus, Rafa discusses how to reduce its environmental impact, the efforts residents say they can take right now in their own backyard. Good Monday morning. I'm Brett Brooks. It's 5 o'clock. And good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. Thanks for joining your home team on this Monday morning. And it's really, really foggy outside. Yeah, it's really foggy. So as you wake up and head out the door this morning, make sure to take it slow out on the roads this morning. Let's take a look at what's going on out there right now as we take a look at our Mercy L Sky Track camera over Beloit, Wisconsin. Typically on our Sky Track camera, you can definitely see the water tower that's usually off in the distance, but not this morning because of how dense the fog is out there. Most spots have actually been under a half mile visibility for quite some time this morning, so make sure to take it slow out on the roads. Looking at current conditions up in Beloit, 64 degrees with the light breeze out of the southeast at 3 miles per hour, but take a look at the number all the way at the bottom. Zero mile visibility up in Beloit, and that's why we do have a dense fog advisory for our southern Wisconsin counties, even a few here in northern Illinois up until about 9 a.m. this morning, and that's when we'll start to see the foggy conditions start to let up. But here's a look on how fog is right now. 0.3 up in Janesville, 0.5 here in Rockford, 0.3 in Freeport, and a little bit better conditions are out towards the west. So here's a look at satellite radar, just a few spotty drizzles along with that fog, but we're going to keep our weather risk on the low side today. Dense morning fog giving way to partly sunny skies, and it could be a little bit windy this afternoon. Kids heading to the bus stop this morning will experience the patchy dense fog with temperatures in the mid 60s. Then as they get home, it's going to be a windy afternoon with temperatures a little bit more summer-like in the low 80s. So here's a look at our daily planner. We're going to warm up to 83 degrees today. It's going to turn partly sunny. We could see an isolated late-day thunderstorm, otherwise mainly dry today. Let's take a look now at our first warn. Interactive radar sponsored by Paper Recovery Service. Nothing to worry about besides the fog this morning, so take it slow. We'll have more on the summer-like warmth and how long it'll last coming up in the first warm weather forecast. And it doesn't like it's going to last too long. It's not going to last too long, but I won't give any uh, hints away until the forecast comes up. So I enjoy look we're kind of matching, yeah, we're kind of a, matching little a little bit. A little bit of the light blue, the yes, pastel the light colors. blue shade. It's like the it's like the last days of summer and colors that we have going on. Yeah, it's gonna get cooler once we hit the middle of the week, so I'll tell you how cool they're coming up. All right, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. In the aftermath of car accidents, firefighters work to make sure no one is stuck in a vehicle. It's an important part of the job, but one that's difficult to prepare for. Before Dylan Siraki spent the day at a state line event aiming to provide young firefighters a chance to hone their craft. 
Firefighters race to rescue a mannequin from a crashed car during the 7th annual Crunch Time Vehicle Extrication Symposium. The event is hosted by the Harlem Roscoe Fire Department. Chief Don Shovlin says the purpose is hands-on training. We require that they're all newer firefighters, um, so we're not having the, the old veterans in here, if you will. We're, our goal with this whole symposium is to teach the newer firefighters. It, it's an entry-level training program. The symposium started with a classroom session where participants learned about the tools and techniques required in an extrication scenario. Then they got to work. It all comes together and ends today with this little friendly competition. Eight teams from around the state line competed in the challenge. The idea is to simulate an actual car wreck. We put them in a little bit more of a high adrenaline area to, to, to try and teach them and give them experience what a little bit of speed and why it's needed to get someone out of a vehicle. Each team completes two extrication scenarios, testing how quickly they think on their feet and how well they know their tools. If the power tool doesn't work, they feel comfortable going to a hand tool, or they know if a power tool isn't going to be the right choice for the situation, they have the knowledge to use a hand tool. After the weekend, one Harlem Roscoe firefighter says he is more prepared for the real thing. I feel a lot better to do a real extrication now after experiencing the things that Crunch Time got to do for me. I think uh, this is going to help when we actually get on the streets. That's Dylan Siraki reporting. The top three teams are recognized following the challenge. The man who drove an SUV into a suburban shopping mall is charged Sunday morning. Javier Garcia faces a state terrorism charge along with felony criminal damage to property after driving through Woodfield Mall last Friday. The state's attorney's officer says there's evidence the attack was planned after police found Woodfield Mall in a search history on Garcia's phone 124 times in the days leading up to the attack, including aerial view of the mall and the mall premises. Garcia was denied bond. A man stranded on the Rock River is rescued and then taken into custody Saturday morning. A boat docked behind Rock River Towers was stolen around 645 Saturday morning, but it did not make it very far. The man aboard the stolen boat, Juan Gomez, drifted downstream and got caught in a cable that blocks other boats from reaching the Fordham Dam. He ended up stranded and called for help. Rafa Fire was able to rescue Gomez. He was then taken into custody once they reach land. Gomez faces several charges, including auto theft. The United States may be on the path to its third presidential impeachment. There's a tentative agreement for a whistleblower to testify before the House Intelligence Committee about President Trump's controversial call with the Ukrainian president. John Lornick reports. President Trump sounding off Sunday night, tweeting he wants to meet the whistleblower who represented a perfect conversation with a foreign leader in a totally inaccurate and fraudulent way. What's going on now is the single greatest scam in the history of American politics. Democrats disagree, saying the president took advantage of his power to solicit interference from Ukraine in the 2020 election. This is serious evidence of wrongdoing. The president has betrayed his oath of office. A rough transcript from the White House shows President Trump repeatedly urged Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to look into Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. The president did nothing in this phone call that's impeachable. Trump denies any wrongdoing and critics of the coming impeachment inquiry say this is a bit like deja vu all over again following special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. Democrats leading the probe disagree. After the last two years that we've been through, the president well understood uh, that it was illegal to seek foreign assistance uh, in a campaign. Uh, and immediately after Mueller testified, that is exactly what he was back at doing again. And the White House will soon find out if that is impeachable conduct. That was John Lornick reporting. Veterans who lost their life in a chemical exposure are honored. A wreath placed next to a wall down with pictures of the late Vietnam vets memorializing their sacrifice. Family members hugged one another. Over 200,000 people died fighting in the Vietnam War, but the death toll continues to rise even years after the conflict ended. The veterans honored at this memorial did not die in combat, but from the effects of Agent Orange, a chemical many were exposed to during the war and died from when they came home. We realized that there was many people who were dead but hadn't 
hadn't come back uh, in 100% in health, and they succumbed to Agent Orange, which was a, uh, an herbicide that they used to kill the vegetation so it would be easier to find our enemies. Bird also says if you have any family members or friends who fought in Vietnam and died from Agent Orange, contact the Vietnam Veterans Honor Society. We'll have the information for you on our website, mystateline.com. The Forest City joins a global conversation. Areas across Rockford took part in Rockford's Sustainability Summit. Topics included reducing waste, environmentally friendly transportation, and the way diets affect the environment. This is all in an effort to educate people on ways to keep the Forest City green. One threat to the local ecosystem experts spoke about was non-native plant life taking over and edging out native species. There are ways residents can help fight the threat right in their own backyard. By planting native flowers, wildflowers, grasses, trees, shrubs, so that the native animals from insects and other little organisms that you can't even see, all the way up to birds and, and mammals, will have a healthy environment to thrive. If you want to get involved and help remove the non-native plants, you can join the Natural Land Institute for their stewardship days. The time now is 5.09. Coming up next on Eyewitness News, Congress passes a bill to help fight the opioid crisis, the authority it gives to Homeland Security. And Joey's here with your forecast. And after a cloudy and gloomy weekend, we're waking up to some dense fog out there across the state line. Make sure to take it slow this morning. I'll tell you how long that'll last coming up in the first one weather forecast. Stay tuned. My bucket list is simple. When the time comes, I want to be at home with people who care how I live, not just how long. A Grace did that for my dad, and now I know a Grace will help me too. Real steel. Find yours and find what fuels you. Right now, steel chainsaws start at just $179.95. Or save $50 when you upgrade to the hardworking MS250. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. So there are no surprises on your bill. That's the best value in wireless. That works for you? Get unlimited data for just $30 a month with no hidden fees. Now that's fair. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. The four founders of Rush Creek Distilling have one dual passion, make the finest craft distilled spirits and have fun doing it. Stop in with friends and family, take a tour, enjoy a Rush Creek cocktail at our Craftsman Bar and take home a bottle today. Rush Creek Distilling is located in Harvard, Illinois, just a country drive from Lake Geneva or Rockford. Check out our website at rushcreekdistilling.com to find a distributor near you and make every sip an adventure. Producing your own energy is a great decision and can save you money. Today, you have more options than ever for solar energy. There are many federal, state, and renewable energy incentives available. Call Eco Home Solar Experts for a free consultation to learn how you can start saving money with clean solar energy today. Keep an eye on the skies all across the state wherever you are. The Mercy Health Weather Network, only at MyStateLine.com. My wife has always been there for me. 46 years. But now it's my turn to take care of the love of my life. I know a grace will help me take the very best care of her. Just call. A grace will help. The American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk will be held Saturday, October 19th at Rock Valley College. Honor those touched by the disease and help raise awareness and funds for a world without breast cancer. Register at makingstrideswalk.org. Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. As you wake up and head out the door this morning, there's going to be some dense fog, but as we go further into our day today, we're going to feel some summer-like warmth, and that's all because of a warm front that's going to be lifting north of the region as the day progresses. Now, that's where we start off our first run rundown this morning. Summer-like warmth will continue into our Tuesday, but then also we see some rain chances in the forecast as we go into our Tuesday and also into our Wednesday, but then we're looking at a cooler pattern as we we head into
into midweek after a strong cold front passes through the region. Now, like I said, as you wake up, there's a ton of moisture along the surface, and then we also have some fairly light winds out there. So that's caused some dense fog to form across the state line. You can see how foggy it is on our SkyTrack camera over downtown Rockford. Can't even see the buildings about a couple of hundred feet away. So definitely going to be a foggy morning out there. So definitely take it slow out on the road. So here's a look at current conditions out there. 66 degrees temperature wise. The light southeast winds at five miles per hour. And those dew points are right around the temperature. And that's telling you that there's a lot of moisture in the uh, atmosphere and at the surface as well. So taking a look right now, we do have a dense fog advisory that's in effect for our southern Wisconsin counties and also a few counties here in northern Illinois up until about 9 a.m. That's when we should start to see uh, the sun, uh, the sun heating the surface enough so that this fog does uh, let up in a few spots. But right now we are under a mile visibility, even under a half mile in some spots out there. 0.3 in DeKalb, 0.5 in Rockford, 0.3 up in Janesville, and also 0.3 in Monroe and also in Freeport. So with that in mind, there's going to be a definitely a foggy morning commute out there with that dense fog advisory in effect up until 9 a.m. So here's a few safety tips going on for you as you head out the door and hit the roads. Reduce the reduced visibility is expected through mid-morning. So as you travel out on the roads, make sure to use those low beam headlights and also use extra caution. Take it slow getting to your destination this morning. There's no need to rush, especially traveling through such dense fog. Now, reaction time is also reduced while traveling through fog. And if you're traveling so close to somebody else's car, if there's any unexpected stops, that could cause an accident. And uh, you know how much uh, with that dense fog out there, accidents can just pile up out on the highways, especially during the morning commute. So looking at satellite radar, just a few spotty drizzle making their way into southern Wisconsin and also uh, northwest Illinois. But that's all because of that warm front that I was referring to that is just sitting south of the region. Now this is going to be lifting north as we continue on into today and that's why we're going to feel some summer like warmth also for our highs today and tomorrow. So here's a look at future cast. We're going to keep the fog in effect up until about 9 or 10 a.m. Then we should start to see the cloud cover reduce just to partly cloudy skies. We could see an, uh, some drizzle this morning along with that fog but nothing should be too substantial as you uh, plan out your day this morning. And then going into the afternoon and evening, partly sunny skies will dominate the rest of our day, but it's going to feel very muggy, especially with dew points so high. So it's going to be a muggy day out there. We could see an isolated thunderstorm this afternoon and evening. Now tonight, mostly cloudy skies. We do have a chance for an isolated thunderstorm or two going into the morning tomorrow, but most of our morning commute should stay dry. It's what's after that that we're watching, especially going into the afternoon and evening. We're looking at a good chance for rain going into Wednesday, or Wednesday morning, and that does continue through the morning commute on Wednesday. So here's a look at the temperature trend the next seven days. We're going to stay nice and warm today and tomorrow, but then a strong cold front is going to be coming through on Wednesday, and that's going to cool our temperatures down into the 60s for the rest of the seven-day forecast, and including Friday morning and Saturday morning, we could see our first frost of the year. So here's a look at today's forecast. 83 degrees, dense fog and isolated drizzle will give way to partly sunny skies and an isolated thunderstorm. Mostly cloudy tonight and muggy with an isolated thunderstorm or two possible, going down to 69 degrees by tomorrow morning. So here's the seven day forecast warm today and tomorrow, but then we see a significant cool down as we head into the middle and second half of the work week with low 60s Thursday and Friday. Did you say frost? Yes, fr <laughs> first frost of the season could be possible Friday morning or Saturday morning. We're going to get very chilly to start off the morning. Oh, goodness, Joey. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's that's later, though, right? That's later. Okay. Today, we're going to feel warm. All right. So that's all that matters. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. The time now is 516. And coming from the Eyewitness News, one state line family honors a lost member with a celebration. The unique best, they say, is the perfect way to remember him. Plus. I'm Morgan Wright in Washington. Coming up, the House nearly unanimously passed a bill that could help get a grip on the nation's drug trafficking problem. All the details ahead. I made a big mistake putting my mom in a nursing facility. When there's a nursing home injury, you'll want the Mama Law team on your side. We won, we settled, so I was happy that I didn't have to go to court. And Mama Law is happy. You got the compensation and justice you deserve. What makes a place a retreat? There are thousands of dogs who stay at Myers each year. But only one lodging can be named the Outpost Suites. Go to MyersPetCare.com and learn how Myers locations in Roscoe and Belvedere are here to serve you and your pet's needs. Myers, a complete retreat for your pet. It was just crazy action. You know that would never happen in real life. This movie's made by the same director, so I'm not sure what you expect. Well, for starters, this one isn't set in space. Tickets for us at the ticket booth window when we get there. 
And I'm going to get us some popcorn for the show. What do you think of that? Did you see that? If you see something, full of these propane say something. Suspicious activities reported. Do something. 911, what's your emergency? The World Power Wheel Standing Champion. Experience the one of a kind spectacle yourself at Byron Dragway in Byron, Illinois on Sunday, October 6th. Gates open at 9 a.m., eliminations at 10 a.m. Two sessions of the 25th Annual World Power Wheel Standing Championships at 2 and 4 p.m. Tickets are $30 for adults, $10 for kids 6 through 12. Parking is free. Visit ByronDragway.com. Join us at Edgebrook for an Arts and Crafts exhibit. We present over 50 local crafters and artisans. Edgebrook is your place to meet, shop, dine. I made a big mistake putting my mom in a nursing facility. When there's a nursing home injury, you'll want the mom and law team on your side. We won, we settled, so I was happy that I didn't have to go to court. And mom and law is happy. You got the compensation and justice you deserve. The House unanimously approved a bill to form a joint tax force to fight the Opioid Trafficking Act. Washington correspondent Morgan Wright reports the bill authorizes the Department of Homeland Security to establish a joint tax force to work closely with other agencies to stop the flow of fentanyl, opioids, and other dangerous drugs from coming into the United States. Eyewitness News is keeping you connected to the nation's capital. Rhode Island Congressman Jim Langevin says the nation must continue to find new ways to battle the opioid crisis. The fallout from it, over uh, 47,000 people died in 2017 uh, alone because of a uh, opioid uh, overdose. Langevin says it would help if it were easier for all the agencies battling drug traffickers to work together. We want to make sure that what Customs and Border Protection knows uh, is being shared with the postal service, that's being shared with uh, private uh, uh, carriers like UPS and, and FedEx. On Friday, the House passed Langevin's bill that would create a joint task force to combat opioid trafficking. The bill would direct the Department of Homeland Security to work more closely with other agencies on the federal, state, and local levels to stop the flow of dangerous drugs into the U.S. Langevin says it would also involve the State Department and the Justice Department in efforts to find the sources of the illegal drugs. Langevin's bill had strong support from both parties. The Joint Task Force approach to the opioid epidemic is effective because it fosters information sharing and exchange between all relevant stakeholders to combat the opioid epidemic. Tennessee Republican Congressman Mark Green joined all but one member of the House in supporting the Joint Task Force bill. In Washington, Morgan Wright. Coming up next, the world's fastest electric car is the Corvette. Posting a top speed of 210.2 miles per hour. Details next in today's Tech Bites. Stay with us. Made in the State Line, Thursdays only on Eyewitness News. A home may be the largest purchase of your life. Who's behind the mortgage application on the other side of the screen? Don't click yourself into the great unknown. Remember, a rocket ship isn't always the best mode of financing. And a quick mortgage isn't always good. Let the First Northern Credit Union Mortgage Team finance your new home. Already in the process? Call us today. If you let FNCU close on your new home, a free appraisal of up to $515 goes right back into your wallet. First Northern Credit Union. Big City Credit Union. Small Town Service. It's Midnight Madness at Ashley Home Store. This Friday from noon to midnight. Save up to 30% off select items store-wide. Or pay no interest for five years with no minimum purchase and no money down. 12 hours only this Friday at Ashley Home Store. Gambino tip number 83. Remove out-of-season clothes from your closets. Go, go. 
A successful hunt combines skill and preparation. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we understand. Whether you're looking to bag your first, your personal best, or a record, you'll find serious value on hunting gear and supplies. Real Tree Six Pocket Cotton Camo Pants, just $19.99. Men's Levi's Jeans are sale priced $41.99. And introducing Carhartt Ladies Plus Workwear and an expanded selection of Carhartt Men's Big and Tall. That's genuine value from Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Real steel. Find yours. Right now, double your run times when you buy an AK or AP battery set and get the second battery half off. Battery power made by steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Guy with medical records. You're a ticking time bomb. A wake-up call before it's too late. The choice is yours. Today at 2 on WTVO. savings this Friday at Ashley Home Store's Midnight Madness. 12 hours only. Save up to 30% off select items store-wide or pay no interest for five years with no minimum purchase and no money down. This Friday only at Ashley Home Store. Good morning, I'm Brett Brooks and here's a look at your top stories. The man who drove an SUV into a suburban shopping mall is charged Sunday morning. Javier Garcia faces a state terrorism charge along with felony criminal damage to property after driving through Woodfield Mall last Friday. The state's attorney's office says there's evidence the attack was planned after police found Woodfield Mall in a search history on his phone 124 times in the days leading up to the attack, including the aerial view of the mall and the mall premises. Garcia was denied bond. A man stranded on the Rock River is rescued and taken into custody. A boat docked behind Rock River Towers was stolen around 6.45 Saturday morning, but it did not make it very far. The man aboard the stolen, stolen boat, Juan Gomez, drifted downstream and got caught in a cable that blocks other boats from reaching the Fordham Dam. He ended up stranded and called for help. Rock River Fire was able to rescue Gomez. He was then taken into custody once they reached land. Gomez faces several charges, including auto theft. And Joey is here with the Monday forecast. Good morning, Joey. Good morning, Brett, and good morning, everybody. Still looking at very dense fog out there. Most spots are seeing under a half mile visibility, so as you make it out onto the roads, take it slow. The National Weather Service does have a dense fog advisory for our southern Wisconsin counties and a few counties here in northern Illinois up until about 9 a.m. this morning, and that's when we should start to see the fog let up a bit going into the late morning hours. Otherwise, there's a few spots with drizzle moving on through, especially in southern Wisconsin this morning, but shouldn't be substantial for your uh, morning commute. But otherwise, dense fog will give way to partly sunny sunny skies going into the afternoon. Keep it an isolated chance for a thunderstorm this afternoon and evening with a high of 83 degrees. Then tonight, it's going to be a very muggy night for overnight into the morning tomorrow. 69 degrees for a low, mostly cloudy skies and an isolated chance for a thunderstorm or two into the morning tomorrow. So taking a look at the seven-day forecast, we are going to stay warm into our Tuesday as well. Then a cold front midweek will cool our temperatures down into the low 60s and Friday morning and Saturday morning, we could see our first frost of the season. Back to you, Brett. Thank you, Joey. The time now is 526. This morning, Google is facing more scrutiny as a House committee investigates whether new technology is giving them an unfair advantage. ABC's Elizabeth Herr and Kenneth Moten have the details on today's Tech Bytes. In today's Tech Bytes, congressional investigators are trying to determine if a new internet protocol would give Google an unfair competitive advantage. Google says the new technology is designed to improve security, but critics say it would make it harder for others to access consumer data. This little red Corvette just made history, breaking its own world record. The car hit 210.2 miles an hour, slightly topping its previous mark for the fastest street legal all electric car on the planet. And that was despite severe crosswinds. And the goose is allowing gamers to let loose online. The feathered star of the unnamed goose game is being celebrated for its ability to solve problems by causing more problems. The game is a big hit. One fan model Chrissy Teigen even tweeted, I wanted to hate goose game, but I love it. Hmm. And those are your tech fights. Have a great day.
Cares is here to help every parent love the changes a baby brings. Pampers is the first and only diaper with air dry channels. They stay up to three times drier, so babies can sleep soundly all night. Pampers. Stop dancing around the pain that keeps you up again and again. Advil PM silences pain, and you sleep the whole night. Advil PM. Up all night? Your eyes won't show it. New Super Stay Concealer from Maybelline, New York. Dark circles wiped out. Full coverage at up to 24-hour wear. 24-7. New Super Stay Concealer, only from Maybelline, New York. Next live, Paris Hilton. That's hot. Plus, Deborah Norville, Chef Aaron Sanchez, and families compete for a fantastic trip. Today at 9 on WTVO. Fall is here, and so is the closeout sales event at Napleton Auto Group. All 2019s are priced to move and to move quickly. Visit any of our three locations today. Find football season savings, test drive any new or pre-owned vehicle, and you could win two tickets to a Chicago versus Detroit game in Chicago on November 10th. Audi, Cadillac, Honda, Jaguar, Land Rover, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, or Subaru. Test drive any one you'd like at any of our three Napleton locations. Come in today, and you could enjoy the game in Chi-Town. Napleton Auto Group, since 1931, where you can drive more makes, more models in under a mile. They may wear a badge, but they're just like you and me, working hard every day to make the state line a better place to live. Join Eyewitness News as they introduce us to some of the area's finest. Behind the Badge, Tuesdays only on Eyewitness News. What made Steve say, Your pastor is watching get you in the mood? Whipped cream. <laughs> Angela, I am surprised. <laughs> your pastor is watching. And your ass is... <laughs> Whipped cream. Family feud. I hope it's up there, Steve. Well, if it ain't up there, we just found out a lot about you, though, didn't we? WTVO 17 and your home team. Eyewitness News in the morning starts now. One state line family remembers their loved one's life with a celebration. The event that has those who loved him raising a glass in his memory. Anna Rockford Public Schools say they are on their way back to a normal system. The progress they have made and what students and staff can expect this morning. Plus, getting a second chance is not always easy or affordable. The event with a mission to help those in need get on the right track with a low price tag. Good morning. It's currently 5.30. I'm Brett Brooks. And good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. Hopefully you had a great weekend and you're having a great start to your Monday morning. I had a great weekend, Joey. Yeah, did you? You want to know what I did? What did you do? <laughs> I'm curious. Throw it out there. So I went to go see the Girl Scouts on Saturday. Mm -hmm. They got $25,000 from State Farm, so they did a check presentation. I saw that. Yes, good for them. Yes, and I'm really big with the Girl Scouts here, um, being an alum myself back mm -hmm. in the day. So, and then yesterday I was MC for the NAACP Freedom Fund Banquet, which was exciting. Yeah, how did that go? It was really nice. Yeah? It was really good. Everyone was, had a great time. It was in a room full of all the greats of Rockford, and it was really nice. That's awesome. They gave me sleep, though. Haven't slept <laughs> since then. Yeah, I, I bet you're looking forward to some then. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But it was a great event, and congratulations to all the people who won all the awards. There was four awards given out for business, individual, and organizations out doing good in, in Rockford. So. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations to them. Yes, congratulations. Let's take a look at what's going on out there this morning. Very foggy out there as you make your way out the door onto the roads, as you see here on a Mercy L Sky Track camera over downtown Rockford. Rockford is in there somewhere. And as a big SpongeBob fan, I would think the Flying Dutchman ship would be coming out of a, a dense fog layer like this. But otherwise, we're looking at very foggy conditions as you make your way out onto the road. So make sure to take it slow because we do have a dense fog advisory for some of our northern Illinois counties and even all of our southern Wisconsin counties up until 9 a.m. And that's when we should start to see the sun heating the surface enough to let the fog let up a little bit. But for right now, most of us is under a mile, even some of us under a half mile visibility, 0.3 up in Janesville, 0.5 in Rockford. 
point three up in Monroe, and as you see off towards the west, better conditions, but remember to take it slow. Otherwise, we're looking at dry conditions for most of us as you head out the door. Today's weather risk will be on the low side. Dense morning fog will give way to partly sunny skies, and it'll be a little bit windy this afternoon. So here's a look at the bus stop forecast. Kids heading to the bus stop this morning will experience the dense fog as well as temperatures in the mid-60s. Once they get off the bus, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, otherwise partly sunny with a bit of a wind out there and temperatures in the low 80s. So here's a look at our daily planner. Dense morning fog giving way to partly sunny skies with a high near 83. Let's take a look now at our first warn. Interactive radar sponsored by Paper Recovery Service. Just the fog we're looking at this morning. Warmer temperatures will lead to a cooler end to the work week, and I'll have more on that coming up in the first Warren weather forecast. I heard you say cooler to end the work week, but today it will be nice. Today will be summer-like, and so will tomorrow. And I like your SpongeBob reference. That was oh, hilarious. Oh, thank you. I use that every time it's foggy. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're Joey. welcome. <laughs> Todd Hansmeyer was murdered in 2014. Every year, his family and friends celebrate his life by doing something they know he loved, drinking craft beer. Before Dylan Siraki went to the annual Heinz Brewfest, where those who are close to Todd say it's the perfect way to remember their friend. People close to Todd Hansmeyer honor their friend by raising a glass during the fifth annual Hans Brewfest. Todd was murdered in 2014, and the fest celebrates all the things he loved to do. Attendees sample dozens of craft beers, eat, and listen to live music. Instead of doing a golf outing or something like that, we thought this would be a great idea, a great way to have some fun. And, uh, you know, just everybody gets together to make it all happen. Todd's brother, Brian Hansmeyer, is the founder of the event. He says the brew fest is something his brother would have been first in line to attend. He had tickets to a beer festival, and after he passed, I went to the beer festival for him. And that's where the idea came from. It was up in Manaqua, and we thought this would be a great way to honor him. He was a beer aficionado. Over 80 people volunteered to help at the Brewfest, which is more than just a fun community event. It also serves as a fundraiser for the Todd Hansmeyer Memorial Foundation. Every year since 2015, the organization has awarded a scholarship to a graduating senior at Hananiga, Todd's alma mater. That's why we made the event in Rockton, and it just seemed like the right thing to do. He always wanted to do good things for people. Attendee Mark Montana says Todd was a great friend of his and thinks the Brewfest is a fitting tribute. Hopefully, He'll help future generations with the scholarships and everything else that this will provide for him. Um, he's always in our hearts, and we'll love him forever. That's Dylan Siraki reporting. The Taz Hanmeyer Memorial Foundation awarded over $10,000 in scholarship money to seniors at Hananiga. After a year of treatment, the man charged in the Dixon High School shooting is now deemed fit for trial. Matthew Milby has been in custody since the shooting in May 2018. While in custody, reports say Milby at first refused to eat and needed mental health treatment, leaving him unfit for trial. Now, a new order filed with the Lee County Courts earlier this month, and since he's on undergone treatment, a judge is now ruling he is fit to stand trial for the shooting. His next hearing is October 10th. RPS 205 hopes to be one step closer to a fully fixed system by this morning. In a statement released Friday, the district says by this morning, teachers should be able to use their primary devices, including computers connected to smart boards. They are also aiming to replace and re-image laptops and surface devices for assistant principals and teachers, along with fully restoring e-school access by the middle of the week. RPS says they will make another announcement when everything is working again. Rockford's former Nelson Elementary School will no longer be standing but you can get to take a piece of the school home with you. The school district will begin demolition this morning. Some bricks will be made available for anyone to pick up on a first come, first serve basis. They will be placed in a pile outside of the construction fence. Sometimes getting a second chance comes at a high price, but one organization hopes to curb the cost. Senator Steve Stottleman took to the podium on Sunday to announce plans for the second chance summit. The event gives free legal help to people looking to expunge or seal criminal records. Organizers hope to help people move forward in life and not let past mistakes drag them down. This year, the summit is preparing to help even more people than in past years. That is because of the legalization of recreational marijuana on January 1st. The new law means 700,000 people with a record for possession of marijuana could have their records expunged.
At 30 grams or under, you'd be able to get those records uh, expunged automatically. If you had more than 30 grams, uh, you can still petition the court. But again, it's another opportunity for those who had those past transgressions earlier in life uh, to erase them and try to start anew. The deadline to sign up for free legal help is October 7th, and the summit is November 1st. You can find the link to sign up at our website, mystateline.com. Belvedere got the chance to get a look at how people lived as pioneers. Visitors at the Boone County Conservation District step back in time to the 1800s for the Autumn Pioneer Festival. Volunteers dressed in traditional clothes and showed how pioneers caught food and cooked food, made clothes, and the kinds of games that were played. The fest drew people from all over the state line to see what life was like in northern Illinois for their ancestors. When the public comes out, they get to interact with all these different demonstrators that have a great deal of history and background with all the things that relate to that time period. They can see things happening that, you know, you wouldn't see in normal everyday life today. This is the Fall Pioneer Festival's 38th year. The time now is 5.38, and coming up next on Eyewitness News, the Bears took on the Vikings in the Sunday's divisional matchup. The injuries Chicago was hit with before the game and how it affected the team. And coming up at 6, One State Line Business is letting their customers help make their products. The helping foot some gave during the event. Plus, Joey's here with your forecast. And dense fog has overtaken the area this morning, so make sure to take it slow out on the roads. We're going to feel very summer-like today and tomorrow, and I'll tell you why coming up in the first warm weather forecast. Stay tuned. Education Matters, Wednesdays only on Eyewitness News. This cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte looks amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I wish I were this creative. Oh, I'm not that creative. Oh, wow. Did you just carve this? I did, yeah. Try our new signature latte. It's all things pumpkin at Dunkin'. Can we talk to a certified kitchen designer? Oh, uh, who now? Never mind. You guys do guarantee the cabinets will fit, right? <laughs> nope. Who do you think we are? Anco? <laughs> Stop the home center havoc. Renovating your kitchen is no laughing matter. At Anco, our expert team will collaborate on your design, guarantee the fit, and save you money with factory direct pricing. This quote is higher than Anco's. Remember, you can drive all over Rockford and never find a better price. WM Day Spa Salon. When I started at WM, I felt very welcomed from the moment that I stepped in the door. They are very supportive and they want to make sure that you succeed here. At WM was the exact environment I was searching for. In my 11 years, I've continued to grow personally and professionally. It's just all about making someone's day and truly that's what we are here to do. At WM Day Spa, we value our team of day makers and we give our entire team the tools for success. Come join us. Real steel. Find yours. And find what fuels you. Right now, steel chainsaws start at just $179.95. Or save $50 when you upgrade to the hardworking MS250. Find yours at steeldealers.com. I get to work with one of my very best friends. Kelly's my nonstop hit factory. I mean, she just <laughs> has something for everything. When I first started here, Kelly. Tell me, Ryan, what was it like for you? When I first started here, we were still in black and white. Yes. That was a different time. It's gonna be a good day. We don't just have a good day, we make it a good day. Good day, State Line. warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning everybody. We're going to feel very summer like today and tomorrow. That's all because of a warm front that's going to be passing through as we carry out our day today and then we'll see some rain chances come into the forecast as we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday. That's because a strong cold front is going to be approaching the region that will pass through going into our Wednesday morning and that's going to bring a cooler pattern by midweek that will stick with us into the second half of our work week. But as you wake up and head out the door this morning, we're very foggy to start off our Monday morning. 
morning. Taking a look at our Mercy L SkyTrack camera over downtown Rockford. Very foggy conditions have overtaken the area since actually yesterday evening. We're seeing visibility down under a half mile in a few spots, so make sure to take it slow out on the roads. Right now, temperatures are in the upper 60s, 66 degrees, with a light breeze out of the southeast at 5 miles per hour and dew points in the upper 60s as well. Because of how dense the fog is, the National Weather Service has put out a dense fog advisory for our southern Wisconsin counties and a few counties here in northern Illinois up until 9 a.m. this morning. And that's when we just start to see the foggy conditions light up, especially going into the late morning hours. But here's a current look at what the how dense the fog is right now. 0.5 here in Rockford, 0.3 up in Janesville, 0.3 in Monroe, 0.5 in Freeport. If you look off towards the west, better conditions, but still there is some dense fog out in Galena and Sterling, so make sure to take it slow out on the roads. And especially with that in mind, if you're an early morning commuter, definitely make sure to take it slow because we are going to see reduced visibility up until about the mid-morning hours. Use those low beam headlights and take extra traveling time as you're out on the roads because traveling through dense fog will limit your reaction time and especially if you are a traveler that likes to uh, drive up close to somebody and if they do have an unexpected stop that could cause an accident out on the highway so remember to take it slow and use those low beam headlights so otherwise on satellite and radar we're looking at mostly cloudy skies overhead of that fog we're waiting on a warm front that is just to the south of the region this is expected to pass through as we go into the afternoon and this is going to bring summer like conditions into the state line for not only our afternoon today but also going into the afternoon tomorrow so planning out your day on Futurecast, you can see that a light shower or a drizzle will make its way through as we head into the mid to late morning hours. Otherwise, most of our Monday is going to be staying nice and dry, partly sunny skies, but it is going to be breezy this afternoon and also very muggy. But then as we head into tonight, we're going to be dry for the most part. We could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm as we head into the morning hours. But otherwise, during our morning commute, it's going to be nice and dry, mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight. The better chance for thunderstorms does arrive as we go into the late day hours tomorrow, and that's ahead of the strong cold front that's going to bring cooler conditions into the region for the second half of the work week. As you see here, rain and thunderstorm activity staying with us as we head into Wednesday morning. But tonight, we could see a new record low temp. We're predicting 69 degrees for our overnight low tonight. The actual record is 66 degrees, so it's going to be very muggy overnight tonight. And then as we head into our Thursday and Friday overnight lows, we could see those in the low 40s, and that could make for the first frost of the season. So today's forecast, 83 degrees, dense fog, and maybe isolated drizzle this morning. We'll give way to partly sunny skies and a high near 83. 69 degrees tonight, mostly cloudy and muggy. We could see an isolated thunderstorm or two heading into the morning tomorrow. So the seven-day forecast, we're going to be summer like today and tomorrow. Cold front does come through Wednesday morning. And that does bring much more fall-like conditions, temperatures in the low 60s, stretching into the weekend. Joey. <laughs> All I see is 80 and then 60s. Yeah, and it gets absolutely. lower and lower towards the end of the week. We're getting into the chilly part of the year. And also there is some fog out there. So make sure to take <laughs> it slow. But also we're going to be might see our first frost later That's on. true. That fog is yeah. serious outside. So you guys be careful. Yeah, be careful out there. All right. Thank you, Joey. You're welcome. The time now is 545. Coming up next on Eyewitness News, the Cubs and their manager, Joe Madden, have decided to part ways. The host Madden has for his next phase of his career. All the high school football action you need. Watch The Sports Connection every Saturday on Rockford's My Network TV and Fox 39. Kick off the holiday season right with the help of Lawn Care by Walter. Their custom-designed planters and annual displays will spruce up any home or business. Schedule your holiday decor services by November 17th. Remodeling your home is the opportunity to match your living space to your lifestyle. Marling Lumber and Homeworks can customize your home with Marilot or Craftmade cabinets and countertops, windows, doors, and more. Go where the pros go. Go to Marling. My grandmother had Alzheimer's, and I remember we were all in the hospital room, and for like 10 seconds, she recognized who we were, and then it was gone. So it's like a thief. He's taking away memories of um, who you are as a person. Over five and a half million Americans have Alzheimer's. That number may double by 2050. For more information, visit rightfocus.org. Now more than ever, Mercy Health is closer to every child that needs us the most. From our level three regional perinatal center to just about every pediatric subspecialty any child will ever need. We're closer to you, no matter where you call home. From well child exams and immunizations to the most critical care, 
Mercy Health's comprehensive team of pediatric specialists is now closer. Closer. Closer than ever. Mercy Health, a passion for making lives better. Save big money on your fall home improvement projects. Now during Menard's Oktoberfest sale. Right now, all Bosch Power Tool accessories are on sale. This 32-piece impact drive bit set includes insert bits and power bits. It's only $12.98. Masterforce gives you professional quality hand tools that get the job done faster and easier. This 220-piece mechanics tool set includes sockets, ratchets, extensions, and more. $179.99. Now during Menard's Oktoberfest sale. Save big money at Menard's. What made Steve say? Your pastor is watching. <laughs> what food gets you in the mood? Whipped cream. <laughs> Your pastor is watching. Family Feud. Not quite in the holiday spirit? Check out the beautiful seasonal displays on Lawn Care by Walter's website. Head to lcbwalter.com and click on the seasonal decor tab today. Deadline to order is November 17th. Welcome back. In sports, could the Bears keep their winning streak alive in Sunday's game against the Vikings? Sports anchor Samantha Rivera has your sports headlines this morning. Prior to Sunday's divisional matchup against the Vikings, the Bears were hit with countless injuries. The latest victim, Mitch Trubisky, he was taken out for the rest of the game with a shoulder injury. So in to fill in was Chase Daniel. Let me tell you, the guy didn't do all that bad. Let's take it back to when Trubisky gets hurt, though. Early in the first third and four, he scrambles to his left. He fumbles the ball, and he gets tackled. Trubisky would return to the sideline with the sling. Still a really tough way to leave the game. But like I said, Daniel was ready to go. He connects with Tariq Cohen for the 10-yard touchdown. Bears took an early 7-0 lead. Chicago led 10-0 in at the half. First play in the third, Khalil Mack with a strip sack over Kirk Cousins. Chicago's defense finished with six sacks. And that was without Akeem Hicks and Roquan Smith. Vikings would eventually get on the board, but the Bears still go on to win 16-6. to They're now 3-1 and one on the young season. Scott Lever brings his post-game reaction from Soldier Field. The depth on this Bears team, and especially on the defense, was certainly showing in this game today. With so many key players down with injuries or out for other reasons, the Bears all stepped up especially on the defense, which came up with six sacks and three takeaways. And they held the league's leading rusher, Dalvin Cook, to 34 yards and the league's second leading rushing team to a mere 40 yards on the ground. Everybody played a uh, great technique and uh, everybody played sound on the edges and uh, everybody made plays to uh, stop them from running the ball. It just starts at the beginning of the, the beginning of the week, you know, Chuck says, hey, uh, prepare like you're a starter and that's, a, and that's what we did. Everybody on defense can play, everybody, our DBs, D-line, linebackers, all that. Of most of the guys who stepped in on defense knew they were going to play coming into this game, but Chase Daniel had no idea he was going to see action until the moment Mitch Trubisky went down with his shoulder injury. Tried to just stay calm and cool, and I've been in the situation before. You know, the two starts last year really helped me just um, with communication, especially with the offensive line. We're doing a bunch of no-huddle stuff. As for Trubisky's health and status, Coach Nagy didn't have a whole lot of information on that after the game. You know, it happens early on, and now now here he is, he's out, but he, he's he's able to, he's out of the game, and now he's he's he knows that we got to just see where it's at, and I don't know the exact details of it other than, we sh I should know, I'm hoping I know here in the next 24, 48 hours. We'll, of course, learn a whole lot more about Trubisky's condition on Monday. As for Roquan Smith, Nagy would elaborate only to say again that he was excused for personal reasons. The Bears, despite all the injuries, looking pretty good now at 3-1, and one, and they get set to head to London this week. At Soldier Field, I'm Scott Lover. And after five seasons and a, <clears throat> excuse me, a World Series title, the Cubs and their manager Joe Madden have parted ways. There are no hard feelings, though. The split was as mutual as it could be. Madden and Cubs president of operations Theo Epstein say they came to the decision Saturday night over some wine. Epstein acknowledged there'd be a high bidding war for Madden, who led the Cubs to the playoffs four out of his five years in Chicago. Madden says he hopes to manage another team after he leaves. Madden didn't get the sweep against the Cardinals for his last game with the Cubs. They fell 9 to nothing. Chicago still wins their last series of the season 2 and 1. They finished the season with an 84 and 78 record. And that's it for sports. Have a great rest of your morning.
A look at your top stories are just ahead, and Joey will update us on the forecast next. Behind the Badge, Tuesdays only on Eyewitness News. We hired New Leaf to finish the basement for us. They completed a new pool table area, ping pong table, and also a bathroom and a wet bar for us. Everything was on time, and Jack came out before and after every phase, made sure we were happy. I would recommend anybody to New Leaf. They were super easy and very accommodating. New Leaf Remodeling and Homes. Dream. Build. Enjoy. Before I went to Dr. T, I had low self-esteem, low self-confidence. Um, didn't smile for probably about 10 years. The reason it took me so long to do something was I'm, I was terrified of the dentist. When they explained that they did this, the sleep dentistry, it really kind of put me at ease. The first time I saw my new smile, I actually almost wanted to cry. It was life-changing. Don't wait any longer. Call Dental Dimensions today at 229-3520. Oh, I'm so happy, yeah. It's awesome. It's a wonderful life, and you've got to worry about health care. Because <laughs> it can happen so darn quick. So you need to have an insurance company that says, we got your back. To me, it's stability. I don't have to worry about it. You need to just have a cup of coffee. <laughs> and a piece of pie. Life is good. I'm covered. Don't worry about it. WPS Medicare Supplement Insurance. Because we care. Call us at 1-800-221-5319. A little something more I've got a plan in mind A special thing in store It's my lucky day It's my lucky day It's my lucky day My lucky day It's my lucky day It's my lucky day It's my lucky day It's gonna be a good day We don't just have a good day, we make it a good day. Good day, State Line. It's a good day. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. With the kisses are hers and hers. Stray hands, Sarah's kinky. Lunchtime weekdays on ABC. Good morning, I'm Brett Brooks, and here to look at your top stories. After a year of treatment, the man charged in a Dixon High School shooting is deemed fit for trial. Matthew Milby has been in custody since the shooting in May 2018. While in custody, reports say Milby at first refused to eat and needed mental health treatment, leaving him unfit for trial as of March. Now, a new order filed with the Lee County Courts earlier this month, and since he's undergone treatment, a judge is now ruling he is fit for trial for the shooting. His next hearing is October 10th. Rockville Public Schools hope to be one step closer to a fully fixed system by this morning. In a statement released Friday, RPS says teachers should be able to use their primary devices, including computers connected to the smart boards today. They are also aiming to replace and re-image laptops and surface devices for assistant principals and teachers, along with fully restoring e-school access by the middle of the week. RPS said they will make another announcement when everything is working again. And Joey is here with the Monday forecast. Good morning, Joey. Good morning, Brett, and good morning, everybody. You can see on our Mercy Health Sky Track camera over the Javon Bay Hospital that the hospital is nowhere to be seen because we have very dense fog out there this morning. So make sure to take it slow out on the roads. Right now, we do have visibility under a mile in most spots, 0.5 in Freeport and here in Rockford, 0.3 in Janesville, and 1.3 down in Rochelle. And that's why we do have a dense fog advisory for some of our counties here in northern Illinois. Also, all of our southern Wisconsin counties up until about 9 a.m., and that's when we should start to see the fog light up a little bit bit as we head into the late morning hours. So today's forecast, dense fog giving way to partly sunny skies, and we keep the chance for an isolated thunderstorm in the forecast later today with a high near 83. Tonight, 69 degrees. We're going to be mostly cloudy and muggy with an isolated thunderstorm or two possible, but there will be a slight breeze overnight tonight into the morning tomorrow, right around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So here's the seven-day forecast. Once a cold front, strong cold front comes through on Wednesday, that's when we see fall-like temperatures come in into the state line, low 60s Thursday through Sunday. Back to you, Brett. Thank you, Joey. 
coming up in the 6 o'clock hour of Eyewitness News in the morning, an educational festival uses one unique learning tool during the event. The way organizers say bubbles help teach different lessons. Management said they wanted a commercial that shows everywhere the My State Line mobile app keeps you connected to the state line. So, here you go. The Planet Earth. My State Line Mobile. Available to everyone on Earth. Not available on Mars. How do I use better than bouillon? I just add a spoonful to my marinades. To stir fries? Sauces. Just whisk it in. Brush it on? Saute. It adds a cooked all day taste that doesn't take all day. Better than bouillon. Don't just make it, make it better. Cracker Barrel makes every meal one to remember. With favorites like Sunday Homestyle Chicken now available every day. And our new sweet and smoky homestyle chicken BLT for $8.99. Come on home to Scratch Made. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. Real steel. Find yours. Pick up the BG50 blower for only $139.95. Or grab the easy-to-use BG56 CE handheld blower. For the biggest jobs, go for the most powerful backpack blower in the steel lineup, the BR800CE for $649.95. Is your business still settling for slow internet? Well, time is money. Switch to Comcast Business Now and get a great deal on fast, reliable internet with a 30-day money-back guarantee, installation when it works for you, and 24-7 customer support. So what are you waiting for? Get the fast, reliable internet your business really needs. Call 1-800-501-6000 today. Comcast Business. Beyond fast. The Rock River Valley Blood Center is in urgent need of all blood types. Schedule a donation today or visit one of our facilities or mobile blood drives. Our need is immediate, so call or visit rrvbc.org for more info. Keep an eye on the skies all across the state wherever you are. The Mercy Health Weather Network, only at MyStateLine.com. Explore Rock Valley College like you've never seen it before and help students' college dreams come true. Join us Saturday, October 5th for the 5th Annual Golden Futures 5K presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Show your support for area high schools. The school with the most support earns a $1,000 scholarship for a student attending RVC next fall. The USATF certified course winds its way through campus. Proceeds benefit the RBC Foundation's scholarship fund. Head to runsignup.com slash golden futures to learn more. Live from WTVO 17 and your home team, Eyewitness News in the Morning starts now. Local firefighters race to rescue at a hands-on training event. The high-stress situation one department prepares all of its members for. And RPS inches closer to complete recovery after a cyber attack. The access they are expecting this morning and the progress they plan to later this week. Plus, a blast to the past in Belvedere, the annual event giving residents a glimpse into the city's past life. Good morning. It's currently 6 o'clock. I'm Brett Brooks. And good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining your home team this morning. I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. Welcome to the work week. And thank you for waking up with us. Yeah, hopefully you all had a great weekend. I know you were just telling me before how you had a great weekend as well. I did. I was at the NAACP Freedom Fund Banquet, and I'm just honored that they let me emcee it. It was a great event, a nice event full of all of some of big names in Rockford. Yeah, and especially this morning. I think I'm having a better morning now that all of my sinuses are all cleared up because oh, really? that peppermint stuff that you put in your <laughs> teeth is very strong. And it, yeah, it definitely <laughs> opened up my sinuses this morning. Do you morning. feel like you're smelling new smells now? All I smell is peppermint. <laughs> <laughs> all I smell is peppermint. Let's take a look at what's going on out there this morning. Taking a look at our SkyTrack camera at the Javon Bay Hospital. The hospital is in there somewhere, but because of how dense the fog is, you can't see it on our camera this morning. So as you make out, onto the roads this morning. Take it slow because there is a uh, fog that is reducing visibility under a half mile in most spots. Now let's take a look at current conditions here in Rockford. Right now 66 degrees. That's where we've been for the past couple of hours because of this fog. Winds are calm and also dew points are in the upper 60s as well. But the number you want to look at is the one on the bottom. That's because visibility is now down to zero here in Rockford. And that's why we do have a dense fog advisory for our northern Illinois counties and for our southern Wisconsin counties as well. Up until about 9 a.m. this morning. That's 
when we should start to see the foggy conditions let up. But for right now, 0.3 in DeKalb, 0.3 also up in Janesville, 0.8 in Freeport, and 0.3 up in Monroe. So today's weather risk is going to stay on the low side. Dense morning fog will give way to partly sunny skies, and it's going to feel a little bit breezy this afternoon. Kids heading to the bus stop this morning will just have to deal with the dense fog out there and temperatures in the mid-60s. Then when they get off the bus later on, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but we're looking at breezy conditions and partly sunny skies as we warm up into the low 80s. And a high of 83 today, summer-like conditions make their way in, turning partly sunny by the afternoon. Now let's take a look at our first worn interactive radar sponsored by Paper recovery service. Just the fog we're dealing with this morning. And like I said, summer like temps are in the region today and tomorrow. And I'll have more on that coming up in the first warren weather forecast. You said summer like temps are in the Yeah, region? we're going to be in the low 80s today and tomorrow, but there's going to be a change coming up and I'll have more on that too. You think it might be the last day? No, maybe. I'm not going to get into that for right now. Okay, I won't spoil it. Yeah, don't spoil it. All right, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. In the aftermath of car accidents, firefighters work to make sure no one is stuck inside. It's an important part of the job, but one that's difficult to prepare for. Report Dylan Siraki spent the day at a state line event aiming to provide young firefighters a chance to hone their craft. Firefighters race to rescue a mannequin from a crashed car during the 7th annual Crunch Time Vehicle Extrication Symposium. The event is hosted by the Harlem Roscoe Fire Department. Chief Don Shovlin says the purpose is hands-on training. We require that they're all newer firefighters um, so we're not having the the old veterans in here if you will we're, our goal with this whole symposium is to teach the newer firefighters it, it's an entry-level training program the symposium started with a classroom session where participants learned about the tools and techniques required in an extrication scenario then they got to work it all comes together and ends today with this little friendly competition eight teams from around the state line competed in the challenge the idea is to simulate an actual car wreck we put them in a little bit more of a high adrenaline area to, to, to try and teach them and give them experience what a little bit of speed and why it's needed to get someone out of a vehicle. Each team completes two extrication scenarios, testing how quickly they think on their feet and how well they know their tools. If the power tool doesn't work, they feel comfortable going to a hand tool, or they know if a power tool isn't going to be the right choice for the situation, they have the knowledge to use a hand tool. After the weekend, one Harlem Roscoe firefighter says he is more prepared for the real thing. I feel a lot better to do a real extrication now after experiencing the things that Crunch Time got to do for me. I think uh, this is going to help when we actually get on the streets. That's Dylan Siraki reporting. The top three teams are recognized after the challenge. After a year of treatment, the man charged in a Dixon High School shooting is deemed fit for trial. Matthew Milby has been in custody since the shooting in May 2018. While in custody, reports say Milby at first refused to eat and needed mental health treatment, leaving him unfit for trial as of March. Now, a new order filed by the Lee County Courts earlier this month, and since he's under undergone treatment, a judge is now ruling he is fit to stand trial for the shooting. His next hearing is October 10th. The man who drove an SUV into a suburban shopping mall is charged Sunday morning. Javier Garcia faces a state terrorism charge along with felony criminal damage to property after driving through Woodfield Mall last Friday. The state's attorney office says there's evidence the attack was planned. Police discovered Garcia searched Woodfield Mall 124 times in the days leading up to the attack, including the aerial view of the mall and the mall premises. Under Illinois law, terrorism is defined as any act which causes substantial damage to a building containing five or more business, causing in excess of $100,000 in damage. Garcia was denied bond. Rockford Public Schools hope to be one step closer to a fully fixed system by this morning. In a statement released Friday, RPS says teachers should be able to use their primary devices, including computers connected to smart boards. They are also aiming to replace and re-image laptops and service devices for assistant principals and teachers, along with fully restoring e-school access by the middle of the week. RPS say they will make another announcement when everything is working again. Rockford's former Nelson Elementary School will soon no longer be standing, but you can take a piece of it with you. The school district will begin demolition this morning. Some bricks will be made available for anyone to pick up on a first come first serve basis. They will be placed on a pile outside of the construction fence. 
One business lets you give a helping hand or foot in their wine production. D.C. Estate Winery held an annual grape stomp on Sunday. Participants rolled up their pants legs, kicked off their shoes, and hopped in a bucket full of grapes. Bottles of already made wine were in stock and ready to be sold. But the annual stomp is what people brings into the fest growing each year. Organizers say they get a little help from the classic episode of I Love Lucy. Each year we get it a little bigger. Um, this year we actually had four um, food vendors joining us. Um, and from last year we had two, so um, people enjoy it. Um, they want to stomp grapes like Lucy stomped grapes, so that's just a big draw for us. This was the first fifth year DC Estate Winery has let people stomp their grapes. Kids get the chance to learn while playing with one of their favorite toys. Bubble Festival took over the Discovery Center Saturday afternoon. Kids watched a live show from a famous bubble performer as he showed off his soapy skills to the crowd. Afterwards, they had a chance to get hands-on at the Bubble Palooza playground where kids had the chance to visit different stations and experiment with their own suds. Organizers say it was an opportunity to mix learning and fun. Belvedere got the chance to get a look at how people lived as pioneers. Visitors at the Boone County Conservation District stepped back in time to the 1800s for the Autumn Pioneer Festival. Volunteers dressed in traditional clothes and showed how pioneers caught and cooked food, made clothes, and the kinds of games that were played. The fest drew people from all over the state line to see what life was like in northern Illinois for their ancestors. When the public comes out, they get to interact with all these different demonstrators that have a great deal of history and background with all the things that relate to that time period. They can see things happening that, you know, you wouldn't see in normal everyday life today. This is Fall Pioneer Festival's 38th year. Time now, 6.09, and coming up on Eyewitness News, President Trump sends a message to a whistleblower via Twitter. The two sides of the impeachment investigation with opposing opinions and joey has the forecast and as you make your way out the door this morning dense fog is overtaking the area so make sure to take it slow out on the roads but we'll see partly sunny skies afterwards and summer-like conditions i'll have more on that coming up first warm weather forecast stay tuned kick off the holiday season right with the help of lawn care by walter their custom designed planters and annual displays will spruce up any home or business Schedule your holiday decor services by November 17th. As a real estate investor, I look for sharp agents who really know their market. When I need real estate advice in Rockford and Janesville, I call Tony Vander Hayden. Call the agent I trust, Tony Vander Hayden, and avoid the drama. Voice lets him know he's safe. Shelter insurance does the same for you. Roadside assistance provided by Road America is now included with your auto policy. We'll take care of you. Thank you. While you take care of what's most important. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Get new floors during Empire Today's gigantic 75% off sale. That's carpet, laminate, and even hardwood 75% off. Empire makes getting beautiful new floors easy. See samples in your home, get a free estimate, and have your floors professionally installed. Update your floors with Empire and get 75% off carpet, laminate, and hardwood. Schedule now. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. Whether it's fun in the sun or enjoying a vintage camping trip, we do as much as we can together. Raising two kids is challenging and rewarding, much like fighting for the rights of those injured at work. I'm Tracy Jones, and at Black & Jones, we realize the importance of being tough and compassionate. You have needs beyond a tough legal team. You also need a responsive and caring firm that will fight for you. That law firm is Black & Jones. Compassionate, competitive, complete workers' comp representation. Stay connected to Eyewitness News on the go 24-7 wherever you are with the My State Line app. Always know when news breaks at home or around the world. Get the latest forecast, sports highlights, and so much more. It's like having your home team with you everywhere you go. Not quite in the holiday spirit? Check out the beautiful seasonal displays on Lawn Care by Walter's website. Head to lcbwalter.com and click on the seasonal decor tab today. Deadline to order is November 17th. Now your 
your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everyone. Perfect ingredients this morning has led to some dense fog across the region. So as you make your way out the door, take it slow because as you see here on our Mercy Health SkyTrack camera over downtown Rockford, very foggy conditions have overtaken the area. And like I said, there are some visibilities out there that are still under a half a mile visibility. So here's a look at current conditions here in Rockford. 66 degrees right now with the light breeze out of the southeast at 7 miles per hour and dew points are in the upper 60s as well. Because of the fog out there, we do have a dense fog advisory for some of our northern Illinois counties and all of our southern Wisconsin counties up until 9 a.m. this morning. That's when we should uh, expect the fog to let up a bit, especially going into the late morning hours. And because we had tons of moisture at the surface and fairly light winds out there, that's why we're we continue to see the fog under a half mile in most spots, looking at 0.3 up in Janesville, 0.3 in DeKalb, 0.3 also up in Monroe, and 0.8 in Freeport, 0.5 here in Rockford. So if you're an early morning commuter and you have to go out on the roads this morning, here's a few safety tips because we do expect the fog to be reduced uh, or the visibility to be reduced up until about the mid-morning hours. So use those low beam headlights and make sure to give yourself extra traveling time out there this morning and take it slow because reaction time is reduced while traveling through very dense fog. And if you're, if somebody is uh, right along your bumper and you do have an unexpected stop, that could cause a little bit of an accident on the roads this morning. So take it slow out there because we do expect fog to last up until about the mid to late morning hours. But otherwise, we're mostly cloudy for right now. We're starting to see a few uh, drizzles out there as well because of a warm front that is continuing to lift north into our region. This will lift north and pass through our region as we head into the afternoon, and that could give us an isolated thunderstorm or two throughout the day. But otherwise, we're going to be staying nice and summer-like. Here's a look at future cast going into the afternoon. Could expect a light shower or a few drizzles out there as we continue the morning. But once that moves out, we'll see partly sunny skies for the rest of our day today. And because of that warm front, it is going to feel very muggy out there and also a bit breezy uh, during the rest of our Monday. Then as we head into tonight, mostly cloudy skies and we're going to look at an isolated chance for a thunderstorm or two, especially as we head into tomorrow morning. Otherwise, ahead of that cold front that's going to be coming through midweek, that's why we have thunderstorm chances and showers in the forecast throughout the day tomorrow. And then that cold front does pass through as we go into our Wednesday morning. And that's going to bring cooler weather into the state line. Tonight, we're going to be seeing an overnight low of 69 degrees. That could break the record low warm temp of 66 degrees. So it's going to be, be very muggy overnight tonight into the morning tomorrow. Then once that cold front passes through, Thursday and Friday overnight lows are going to be in the low 40s. So definitely very chilly, and we could expect our first frost of the season to occur later this week. So here's a look at today's forecast. 83 degrees, dense fog, and maybe isolated drizzle in some spots could give way to partly sunny skies and also an isolated thunderstorm as we go into the afternoon. Tonight's forecast, 69 degrees, mostly cloudy and muggy. An isolated thunderstorm or two is possible heading into the morning tomorrow. And there will be a breeze overnight tonight with south southerly winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So the seven-day forecast, low 80s today and tomorrow. Cold front does come through Wednesday bringing a much more fall-like pattern into the state line. Low 60s stretching from Thursday into Sunday. And like I said, with those lows in the 40s, could see some frost for the first time this season. You think it's going to rain today, too? Today, there's an isolated chance for a thunderstorm. Tomorrow gives us a better chance. Oh, man, it's just been raining. Yeah, it's been rain. a rainy year so far. Yeah, but there's more to come. All right, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. The time now is 6.15, and coming up on Eyewitness News, a man is remembered by family friends five years after he was murdered. The way his loss brings on a hopeful future to rock for students. Plus, advocates in the state line meet to discuss an important topic, the global conversation turning into a local change right here in Rockford. Get on-demand news and weather updates from Eyewitness News on any Amazon Alexa device. From the fields in Europe to the American Revolutionary War, Fife and Drum Corps directed the March of Soldiers. Our high school marching bands come from that tradition. They all march on a field of contest. Whether they're high steppers or high school show bands, they are here to entertain. And show our love of country and school. Mr. C's proudly supports our local students in sports and other extracurricular activities. It's a wonderful life and you have got to worry about health care because <laughs> it can happen so darn quick. So you need to have an insurance company that says, we got your back. To me, it's stability. I don't have to worry about it. And you just have a cup of coffee. <laughs> and a piece of pie. Life is good. I'm covered. Don't worry about it. WPS Medicare Supplement Insurance. Because we care. Call us at 1-800-221-5319. 
When a stroke happens, seconds count. From diagnosis and treatment to rehabilitation and continued care. Mercy Health's comprehensive stroke team is with you every step of the way. Offering you stroke care at the highest level. We don't just save lives, we restore them. When you choose Mercy Health, you're choosing the most experienced team in the region. A stroke can happen at any time and anywhere, but the highest level of care happens right here. Mercy Health, a passion for making lives better. your run times when you buy an AK or AP battery set and get the second battery half off. Battery power made by steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. All the high school football action you need. Watch The Sports Connection every Saturday on Rockford's My Network TV and Fox 39. Welcome back. Frank Sinatra's Fly Me to the Moon could soon become a reality, and the United States may be on the path to its third presidential impeachment. Here's what's making headlines across the nation this morning. There's a tentative agreement for a whistleblower to testify before the House Intelligence Committee about President Trump's controversial call with the Ukrainian president. John Lernick reports. President Trump sounding off Sunday night, tweeting he wants to meet the whistleblower who represented a perfect conversation with a foreign leader in a totally inaccurate and fraudulent way. What's going on now is the single greatest scam in the history of American politics. Democrats disagree, saying the president took advantage of his power to solicit interference from Ukraine in the 2020 election. This is serious evidence of wrongdoing. The president has betrayed his oath of office. A rough transcript from the White House shows President Trump repeatedly urged Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to look into Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. The president did nothing in this phone call that's impeachable. Trump denies any wrongdoing and critics of the coming impeachment inquiry say this is a bit like deja vu all over again following special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. Democrats leading the probe disagree. After the last two years that we've been through, the president well understood uh, that it was illegal to seek foreign assistance uh, in a campaign. Uh, and immediately after Mueller testified, that is exactly what he was back at doing again. And the White House will soon find out if that is impeachable conduct. As the United Auto Workers Union strike against General Motors enters its second week on Monday, strikers for the first time become eligible for strike benefits of $250 a week. Workers must walk the picket line or do other things related to the strike in order to qualify for the strike pay. The benefits are much less than the union pay union members are losing because of the strike. They are also subject to income tax. The unions will issue 1099s to members if their benefits cross the $600 mark. Talks between the two parties are centered around wages, profit sharing, and the use of temporary workers. Elon Musk unveiled the Starship Saturday night in a live stream speech from the SpaceX launch facility in Texas. It's a reusable spacecraft capable of making interplanetary trips. Musk says the ship will carry up to 100 people plus cargo to the Mars, Moon, and beyond. SpaceX may test the new ship within the next few months. If all goes well, the company says people could start flying aboard the spacecraft as early as next year. Time now is 621. Your top stories and a quick look at your forecast are coming up next. At Circle of Wellness, we're expanding our circle and we'd like you to come work for us. We're now hiring massage therapists. Send resume to info at circleofwellnessrockford.com. Circle of Wellness, where wellness works for you. 
Paying too much for glasses is just wrong. Check out the right sale at Eyewear Express and get a complete pair for $20. That's right, one pair for $20. Need progressives? Two pairs start at just $76.92. Check out the right sale at Eyewear Express. A home may be the largest purchase of your life. Who's behind the mortgage application on the other side of the screen? Don't click yourself into the great unknown. Remember, a rocket ship isn't always the best mode of financing. And a quick mortgage isn't always good. Let the First Northern Credit Union Mortgage Team finance your new home. Already in the process? Call us today. If you let FNCU close on your new home, a free appraisal of up to $515 goes right back into your wallet. First Northern Credit Union. Big city credit union. Small town service. Lease a new 2019 Outback for only $285 a month. Napleton Subaru since 1931 with more makes, more models in under a mile. Good morning. <laughs> What's great about this show is that it is very relaxed. Right now it's time. It takes a lot of preparation to look like you haven't prepared at all. <laughs> At Circle of Wellness, we're expanding our circle, and we'd like you to come work for us. We're now hiring massage therapists. Send resume to info at circleofwellnessrockford.com. Circle of Wellness, where wellness works for you. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. With the kisses are hers and hers. Straight hands, Sam's Kinky. Lunchtime weekdays on ABC. Good morning, I'm Brett Brooks, and here's a look at your top stories. After a year of treatment, the man charged in the Dixon High School shooting is deemed fit for trial. Matthew Milby has been in custody since the shooting in May 2018. While in custody, reports say Milby at first refused to eat and needed mental health treatment, leaving him unfit for trial as of March. Now, after a new order was filed with the Lee County Court early this month, and since he's undergone treatment, a judge is now ruling he is fit to stand trial for the shooting. His next hearing is October 10th. The man who drove an SUV into a suburban shopping mall is charged Sunday morning. Javier Garcia faces a state terrorism charge along with felony criminal damage to property after driving through Woodfield Mall last Friday. The state's attorney's office says there's evidence the attack was planned. After police found Woodfield Mall in a search history on Garcia's phone 124 times in the days leading up to the attack, including the aerial view of the mall and the mall premises, Garcia was denied bond. And Joey's here with your forecast. Good morning, Joey. And good morning, Brett, and good morning, everybody. We're still dealing with some dense fog out there. What we're looking at here is the Poplar Grove Airport on our SkyTrack camera. Can't see anything still because of that dense fog. You can only see the light that's on top of the tower that's spinning, you know, the spotlight that's on top of that tower. So that's what we're dealing with if you, as you head out the door this morning. Visibility is under a mile in some spots, 0.3 up in Janesville, 0.3 also in DeKalb, 0.3 or 0.5 here in Rockford, and 1.3 in Freeport. We still have a dense fog advisory that's in effect up until 9 a.m. this morning. For some of our northern Illinois counties and including our southern Wisconsin counties, up until 9 a.m., like I said, that's when we should start to see the fog let up a bit. But as we go into the afternoon, partly sunny skies and keeping an isolated chance for a thunderstorm. Otherwise, summer-like temps today with a high near 83. Then tonight, 69 degrees, muggy and mostly cloudy. Then we'll keep a chance for an isolated thunderstorm or two as we head into the morning tomorrow. But a cold front's going to put an end to the summer-like warmth going into Wednesday. Then we'll see low 60s from Thursday into Sunday. Back to you, Brett. Thank you, Joey. The time now is 626. Next up, a passenger's worst nightmare, alarming those aboard this United flight. Here's your Good Morning America first look. In this morning's GMA first look, scare in the air. 
It's a passenger's worst nightmare. This frightening object seen flapping on the wing here is a partially detached panel which had broken loose from the engine, alarming airline passengers aboard this United flight. The incident occurring mid-flight Sunday morning. United flight 293 had just left Denver en route to Orlando when the pilot called for help. We need to get back to uh, Denver relatively speaking as quick as possible. Do we need to get a chance to nature the emergency? The panel has uh, become detached from the airplane we have about six hours of fuel and we have 196 people. Just half an hour after takeoff, the plane had turned back around, landing safely at Denver International Airport just before 8.30 a.m. So how often does a problem like this happen? We'll have much more coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. Hey, my name is George, and I love the Chick-fil-A grilled nuggets. It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I, I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick-fil-A does. The chicken's super tender, and honestly, the best nuggets I've ever tasted. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is the oven-toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> This is you shopping, all day, and this all day, is you maximizing day, at TJ Maxx. More. You shopping, you maximizing. You shopping, you maximizing. Get more of the brands you love and the quality you want. And save every time. It's not shopping, it's maximizing. Start maximizing today. Max Life at TJ Maxx. Hillary Clinton, Chelsea Clinton, together in a daytime exclusive. From family and politics to what Hillary has to say about the impeachment inquiry. This Wednesday on The View on ABC. Want to take your XFi to the next level? Now you can with XFi Advantage, giving you enhanced performance and protection. When devices are connected to your home's Wi-Fi, they're protected, helping keep outsiders from getting inside. Plus, you get unlimited data, so you can stream, surf, and game all you want. With confidence, you can get coverage where you need it most. That's XFi Advantage. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months. Or get four times the speed for just $10 more a month. Call, click, or visit a store today. Discover luxury inside Land Rover of Rockford. Find a lounge-style waiting area, barista coffee bar, Land Rover service of owners, pick-up and drop-off service, and more. Our color and trim section lets you research all the options before you buy. You can truly envision yourself behind the wheel. Lose yourself, push boundaries, and go the distance inside a Discovery Sport. Explore around you, and above all, never stop discovering. Lease an all-new 2019 Napleton Land Rover Discovery Sport SE today. Only $349 a month for 36 months. The Land Rover of Rockford is now open. Come in today and go above and beyond. Keep an eye on the skies all across the state wherever you are. The Mercy Health Weather Network, only at MyStateLine.com. convicted people could soon be given a second chance. The new law that could relieve more people now than ever. And a man is remembered by something he found great joy in, the event serving as memorial while also helping future generations. Plus, the city of Rockford joins a global conversation the way experts say you can contribute to climate change from your own backyard. Good morning, it's currently 6.31, I'm Brett Brooks. And cheers to you all, I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. Thanks for joining us on this Monday morning. Cheers, Joey. Cheers to you as Happy well. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you have a great week ahead of you. Yeah, we're gonna have a summer-like start to the work week out there. I know you're very happy about that. I am happy about that. Holding on to the 80s for a little bit longer. Yes, like some people actually are holding on to the decade of the 80s a little bit longer. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I know you I'm said trying. you needed sleep. There's definitely gonna be some summer-like uh, warmth today, so hopefully you get to enjoy it a little bit, but I hope you get yeah. more sleep. I know. I 
I, I feel like I have to because it's going to be one of the hottest days left of the year, right? It's going to be days. one of those because we're going to see low 80s today and tomorrow. Then we're going to be cooler as we head into the rest of our work week. But let's go, let's go into what's going on out there this morning. Take a look. Yeah, right? Take a look at our Mercy L Sky Track camera at Poplar Grove Airport. Very dense fog out there this morning, especially off into our eastern regions and also into our southern Wisconsin counties. We do have a dense fog advisory that's in effect up until 9 a.m. this morning because you can't even see the airport on our SkyTrack camera in Poplar Grove. That's how dense it is, so make sure to take it slow out on the road. 66 degrees right now with calm winds, and that's one of the reasons why we have such dense fog this morning. Visibility is down to under a half a mile, especially here in Rockford. One, uh, 0.5 uh, miles visibility, 0.3 in DeKalb, 0.3 also up in Janesville, 1.3 out in Freeport. Like I said, we do have a dense fog advisory for our counties here in northern Illinois and our southern Wisconsin counties up until 9 a.m. That's when we just start to see improving conditions here. If you're heading out this morning, dense morning fog will keep our weather risk on the low side, but still we'll see partly sunny skies going into the afternoon. Maybe a bit breezy as well. So the commute cast, we're keeping the light yellow for the morning commute because of the foggy start that we have out there. But that fog will burn off to partly sunny skies and maybe a bit breezy during the evening commute. But we're going to keep our lights green for the second half of the day. So here's a look at our daily planner. Breezy afternoon with a high near 83. Now let's take a look at our first sworn interactive radar sponsored by Paper Recovery Service. Nothing to worry about besides the fog out there, but we are going to see uh, summer-like temps today and tomorrow, and I'll have more of that coming up in the first Warren weather forecast. And Joe, you're baseball. I went to see where I went. <laughs> yeah, you were looking up the entire time. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to stay summer-like for the start of the work week, and I'll get more into that later. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Sometimes getting a second chance comes at a high price, but one organization hopes to curb the cost. Illinois State Senator Steve Settlement took to the podium Sunday to announce plans for the Second Chance Summit. The event gives free legal help to people looking to expunge or seal criminal records. Organizers hope to help people move forward in life and not let past mistakes drag them down. This year, the summit is preparing to help even more people than they have in the past. That's because of the legal legalization of recreational cannabis on January 1st. The new law means 700,000 people with a record for possession of marijuana could have their records expunged. At 30 grams or under, you'd be able to get those records uh, expunged automatically. If you had more than 30 grams, uh, you can still petition the court. But again, it's another opportunity for those who had those past transgressions earlier in life uh, to erase them and try to start anew. The deadline to sign up for the free legal help is October 7th, and the summit is November 1st. You can find the link to sign up on our website, mystateline.com. A man stranded on the Rock River is rescued and then taken into custody. A boat docked behind Rock River Tower was stolen around 6.45 Saturday morning, but it did not make it very far. The man aboard the stolen boat, Juan Gomez, drifted downstream and got caught in a cable that blocks other boats from reaching the Fordham Dam. He ended up stranded and called for help. Rockford Fire was able to rescue Gomez and he was taken into custody once they reached land. Gomez faces several charges, including auto theft. Todd Hansmeyer was murdered in 2014. Every year, his family and friends celebrate his life by doing something they know he loved, drinking craft beer. Before Dylan Soraki went to the annual Hans Brewfest, where those close to Todd say it's the perfect way to remember their friend. People close to Todd Hansmeyer honor their friend by raising a glass during the fifth annual Hans Brewfest. Todd was murdered in 2014, and the fest celebrates all the things he loved to do. Attendees sample dozens of craft beers, eat, and listen to live music. Instead of doing a golf outing or something like that, we thought this would be a great idea, a great way to have some fun, and, uh, you know, just everybody gets together to make it all happen. Todd's brother, Brian Hansmeyer, is the founder of the event. He says the brew fest is something his brother would have been first in line to attend. He had tickets to a beer festival, and after he passed, I went to the beer festival for him. And that's where the idea came from. It was up in Monaqua, and we thought this would be a great way to honor him. He was a beer aficionado. Over 80 people volunteered to help at the Brewfest, which is more than just a fun community event. It also serves as a fundraiser for the Todd Hansmeyer Memorial Foundation. Every year since 2015, the organization has awarded a scholarship to a graduating senior at Hananiga, Todd's alma mater. That's why we made the event in Rockton, and 
and it just seemed like the right thing to do. He always wanted to do good things for people. Attendee Mark Montana says Todd was a great friend of his and thinks the Brewfest is a fitting tribute. Hopefully, he'll help future generations with the scholarships and everything else that this will provide for him. Um, he's always in our hearts, and we'll love him forever. That's Dylan Siraki reporting. Veterans who lost their lives in a chemical exposure are now honored. A wreath placed next to a wall donned with pictures of the late Vietnam vets memorializing their sacrifice. Family members hugged one another. Over 200,000 people died fighting in the Vietnam War, but the death toll continues to rise even years after the conflict ended. The veterans honored at this memorial did not die in combat, but from the effects of Agent Orange, a chemical many were exposed to during the war and died from when they came home. We realized that there was many people who were dead but hadn't hadn't come back uh, in 100% in health. And they succumbed to Agent Orange, which was a uh, an herbicide that they used to kill the vegetation so it would be easier to find our enemies. Bird also said, if you have any family members or friends who fought in Vietnam and died from Agent Orange, contact the, veterans, veterans, veter the Vietnam Veterans Honor Society. We'll have that information on our website, mystateline.com. The Forest City joins a global conversation. Areas across Rockford took part in Rockford Sustainability Summit. Topics included reducing waste, environmentally friendly transportation, and the way diets affect the environment. This is all in an effort to educate people on ways to keep the Forest City green. One threat to local ecosystem experts spoke about was non-native plant life taking over and edging out native species. There are ways residents can help fight the threat right here in the backyard. By planting native flowers, wildflowers, grasses, trees, shrubs, so that the native animals from insects and other little organisms that you can't even see, all the way up to birds and, and mammals, will have a healthy environment to thrive. If you want to get involved and help remove non-native plants, you can join the Natural Land Institute for their stewardship days. <laughs> Time now is 6.38 and coming up on Eyewitness News, the Bears lose their quarterback early on in Sunday's game. The player filling in and helping them towards success. And coming up at 7 on Fox 39, the House passes a bill to help fight off the opioid epidemic, the way agencies will work together to slow down the nation's drug flow. And Joey's here with your forecast. And if you miss summer-like warmth, we're going to have some today and tomorrow, and I'll tell you how long it'll last coming up in the first warm weather forecast. Stay tuned. Get on-demand news and weather updates from Eyewitness News on any Amazon Alexa device. WM, Day Spa Salon. Working at WM, I'm surrounded by people that have the same passion and love for the beauty and wellness industry that I do. There's no competition because we all want each other to succeed. We want everyone to feel appreciated when they come to WM Day Spa Salon. Different girls from all different types of backgrounds um, that enjoy different ranges of services, and we really just enjoy what we do, and if you enjoy what you do, come and apply. At WM Day Spa, we value our team of daymakers, and we give our entire team the tools for success. Come join us. Kick off the holiday season right with the help of Lawn Care by Walter. Their custom-designed planters and annual displays will spruce up any home or business. Schedule your holiday decor services by November 17th. Over $1 billion for injured clients. $1 billion. Why call anyone else? Call QP and Abraham right now. Remodeling your home is the opportunity to match your living space to your lifestyle. Marling Lumber and Homeworks can customize your home with Marilot or Craftmade cabinets and countertops, windows, doors, and more. Go where the pros go. Go to Marling. Disney on Ice presents Dream Big. See how anything is possible when you explore your world. Tickets start at $15. Coming to BMO Harris Bank Center October 25th through 27th. Get your tickets today. The biggest savings are right now during Sunny Island RV's year-end sale. Prices have been slashed on hundreds of in-stock RVs, including the 2020s. Let's start with this new Gulfstream Envision SVT Cruiser, just $122 a month. Go bigger with this Dutchman Astoria. Are you ready? Just $227 a month. You can buy a car or ride in style and extreme comfort in this Thor Motor Coach 4 Winds, only $366 a month. Sunny Island RV on the corner of Alpine and Sandy Hollow in Rockford. It's time to enjoy the adventure. 
What made Steve say? Your pastor is watching. What food gets you in the mood? Whipped cream. <laughs> your pastor is watching. And your ass is Family Feud. Not quite in the holiday spirit? Check out the beautiful seasonal displays on Lawn Care by Walter's website. Head to lcbwalter.com and click on the Seasonal Decor tab today. Deadline to order is November 17th. Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Still seeing that dense fog layer stick around as we head into this half hour. So if you're heading out this morning, just make sure to take it slow out there. As you see on our Mercy L Sky Track camera over downtown Rockford, very thick fog out there to start off the morning. Temperature-wise, we're in the upper 60s right now here in Rockford. 66 degrees with a light breeze out of the southeast at 7 miles per hour. And dew points are also in the upper 60s. So here's a look at temperatures across the board. Upper 60s for most. 66 here in Rockford. 66 up in Janesville, 64 down in Rochelle, 66 in Freeport, and 68 degrees out west in Galena. In fact, we've been stuck in the mid to upper 60s for since about uh, yesterday around 9 p.m. So that's how that's how this fog has affected our temperatures as we continued overnight into this morning. But otherwise, we do have a dense fog advisory that's in effect up until 9 a.m. for some of our Wisconsin, northern Illinois counties and our southern Wisconsin counties. Uh, up until about 9 a.m., that's when we should start to see the fog let up uh, for most spots. But for right now, some spots are under a mile visibility, including DeKalb at 0 .3, 0 0.5 here in Rockford, 0 0.3 up in Janesville, now up to 3 here in Freeport. As the winds continue to gradually increase throughout the morning, that should help this fog layer uh, dissipate and move out of the region. We do have a few spotty showers on satellite and radar this morning. Very light drizzle with this fog layer as we continue on into the mid-morning hours. That's all because a warm front is lifting northward as we speak, looking at it where it is right now, just south of the region. But as we head into the afternoon, that's when it'll be north of our region. That's what's going to bring some summer-like summer -like warmth into the region for our afternoon. So here's a look at Futurecast planning out your day. Could see a light shower or some drizzle as we head into the afternoon, but otherwise a partly sunny day out there. It's going to be muggy and breezy throughout the rest of our day, but otherwise temperatures will be in the low 80s. So if you miss that summer-like warmth, we're going to be seeing it not only today, but going into our day tomorrow as well. A, a very muggy overnight tonight with mostly cloudy skies. Could see an isolated thunderstorm or two as we start off our morning, but as that cold front approaches from the west, that's why we're going to have a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day tomorrow. Temperatures still climbing into the low 80s, so the summer-like warmth does stick with us as we head into the second day of our work week. But then as we head into Wednesday morning, that's when that strong cold front is going to be passing through the region, and that's what's going to bring some cooler air uh, as we head into the midweek and also second half of the work week. But for tonight, we're looking at an overnight low of 69 degrees. That could break our record low uh, warm temp of 66 degrees. And then as we head into the middle and second half of the work week, that cold front is going to bring some chilly and cold air with it as lows drop down into the low 40s so we could be seeing our first frost as we head into the second half of the work week. But here's a look at today's forecast. 83 degrees, dense fog giving way to partly sunny skies, and we do keep a chance for an isolated thunderstorm in the forecast as well. Then as we head into tonight, it's going to be a very muggy overnight. Temperatures only dropping down to 69 degrees, mostly cloudy and muggy, keeping an isolated thunderstorm or two in the forecast as we head into the morning tomorrow. So here's the seven-day forecast, low 80s today and tomorrow. And you can see what that cold front does to our highs as we head into midweek. 69 on Wednesday, then low 60. 60s from Thursday into Sunday. Chance for scattered storms tomorrow, and then we'll keep a chance for rain heading into the day on Wednesday. Joey, this is so sad. It's not at Why all. Why are we looking at 40s? I don't, think, I don't think it's so sad. Well, it's that time of year. Not only is it fog season, but also when we start to see our first frost. So it's lining up perfectly. I guess that's true. Yes. I guess that's true. Yes. Maybe I should move. <laughs> <laughs> the time now is 645. A big announcement coming from the Cubs. The way they reached the decision to part ways with Joe Madden. No one tells you what to expect when you're expecting a new pet. Okay, Benny, we need to get you a crate, training treats, potty pads. But with Chewy's low prices, you'll find amazing deals on everything you need for your pets. Oh, even those toys? You can save on toys, food, treats, even your pet's prescriptions. What about leashes, a bowl, his ID tag? You can get it all at a great price. Even the shipping is free. So what are you waiting for? Start saving at Chewy today. Save 30% on your first order at Chewy. For the first time in history, an Olympic trial will be held in Rockford, Illinois. 
Be there as world-class Canadian and American table tennis hopefuls fight to reach the 2020 Olympics in Japan. Witness the speed, spin, and staggering skill of elite table tennis athletes. The Road to Tokyo runs through BMO Harris Bank Center, October 5th, 2019. Visit rockfordolympictrials.com. You're tired of being stuck where you are. You could win in the game of life. Expand your mind. Open doors to new opportunities. Get your veterinary technician degree at RCC in only 24 months. Earn more money in a career you love, not a job you just like. At RCC, you could win in the game of life. You could win in your career. You could win at RCC. Real steel. Find yours. Pick up the BG50 blower for only $139.95 or grab the easy-to-use BG56 CE handheld blower. For the biggest jobs, go for the most powerful backpack blower in the steel lineup, the BR800 CE for $649.95. Whether it's fun in the sun or enjoying a vintage camping trip, we do as much as we can together. Raising two kids is challenging and rewarding, much like fighting for the rights of those injured at work. I'm Tracy Jones, and at Black & Jones, we realize the importance of being tough and compassionate. You have needs beyond a tough legal team. You also need a responsive and caring firm that will fight for you. That law firm is Black & Jones. Compassionate, competitive, complete workers' comp representation. All the high school football action you need. Watch The Sports Connection every Saturday on Rockford's My Network TV and Fox 39. Welcome back. In sports, could the Bears keep the winning streak alive in Sunday's game against the Vikings? Sports anchor Samantha Rivera has your sports headlines this morning. Prior to Sunday's divisional matchup against the Vikings, the Bears were hit with countless injuries. The latest victim, Mitch Trubisky, he was taken out for the rest of the game with a shoulder injury. So in to fill in was Chase Daniel. Let me tell you, the guy didn't do all that bad. Let's take it back to when Trubisky gets hurt, though. Early in the first third and four, he scrambles to his left and he fumbles the ball. And he gets tackled. Trubisky would return to the sideline with the sling. Still a really tough way to leave the game. But like I said, Daniel was ready to go. He connects with Tariq Cohen for the 10-yard touchdown. Bears took an early 7-0 lead. Chicago led 10-0 in at the half. First play in the third, Khalil Mack with a strip sack over Kirk Cousins. Chicago's defense finished with six sacks, and that was without Akeem Hicks and Roquan Smith. Vikings would eventually get on the board, but the Bears still go on to win 16-6. They're now 3-1 on the young season. Scott Lever brings his post-game reaction from Soldier Field. The depth on this Bears team, and especially on the defense, was certainly showing in this game today. With so many key players down with injuries or out for other reasons, the Bears all stepped up, especially on the defense, which came up with six sacks and three takeaways. And they held the league's leading rusher, Dalvin Cook, to 34 yards, and the league's second leading rushing team to a mere 40 yards on the ground. Everybody played uh, great technique and uh, everybody plays sound on the edges and uh, everybody made plays to uh, stop them from running the ball. It just starts at the beginning of the, the beginning of the week, you know, Chuck, Tess, hey, uh, prepare like you're a starter and that's, a, and that's what we did. Everybody on defense can play, everybody, our DBs, D-line, linebackers, all that. First, most of the guys who stepped in on defense knew they were going to play coming into this game, but Chase Daniel had no idea he was going to see action until the moment Mitch Trubisky went down with his shoulder injury. Tried to just stay calm and cool, and I've been in the situation before. You know, the two starts last year really helped me just um, with communication, especially with the offensive line. We're doing a bunch of no-huddle stuff. As for Trubisky's health and status, Coach Nagy didn't have a whole lot of information on that after the game. You know, it happens early on, and now, now here he is, he's out, but he, he's, he's able to, he's out of the game, and now he's, he's, he knows that we got to just see where it's at, and I don't know the exact details of it, other than we sh I should know, I'm hoping I know here in the next 24, 48 hours. We'll, of course, learn a whole lot more about Trubisky's condition on Monday. As for Roquan Smith, Nagy wouldn't elaborate, only to say again that he was excused for personal reasons. The Bears, despite all the injuries, looking pretty good now at 3-1, and, and they get set to head to London this week. 
At Soldier Field, I'm Scott Lover. And after five seasons and a, <clears throat> excuse me, a World Series title, the Cubs and their manager Joe Madden have parted ways. There are no hard feelings, though. The split was as mutual as it could be. Madden and Cubs president of operations Theo Epstein say they came to the decision Saturday night over some wine. Epstein acknowledged there'd be a high bidding war for Madden, who led the Cubs to the playoffs four out of his five years in Chicago. Madden says he hopes to manage another team after he leaves. Madden didn't get the sweep against the Cardinals for his last game with the Cubs. They fell 9 to nothing. Chicago still wins their last series of the season 2 and 1. They finished the season with an 84 and 78 record. And that's it for sports. Have a great rest of your morning. Now we want to hear from our morning mug club. Which fall flavor do you prefer? Pumpkin spice? Ooh. Or, or apple. apple. Yeah. Comment on our morning mug club post on Facebook, Facebook.com slash News, and we'll try to read some of your comments coming up on Fox 39 starting at 7. We'll be right back with a quick weather update from your home team's own Joy Marino. Can't wait. <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you by Miracle Ear. It's a party! It's the grand opening of our 29th store. Save on every item in every store with 29% off hot buys and a $290 gift card. Even enter to win a free room of furniture. Plus, free financing up to five years. Celebrate with savings. It's the grand opening sale, up to 29% off. A $290 gift card. Plus, win a room. Going on now at The Room Place. It's so you. My life doesn't slow down, especially when I started searching for a new home. So many options, locations, and prices. So I searched it on GoGambino.com. I got the exact results I was looking for, and the best thing is I can search it at work, during a quick coffee break, or even on the couch while I watch TV. I was able to find exactly the home I wanted where I wanted it, all at the right price. Search it with GoGambino.com. Go, go. At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. So there are no surprises on your bill. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? Get unlimited data for just $30 a month with no hidden fees. Now that's fair. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Save big money on your fall home improvement projects now during Menards Oktoberfest sale. Over 120 stock Sylvania LED bulbs are on sale. These general purpose LED bulbs last up to 11,000 hours and use 85% less energy than 60 watt bulbs. A 12 pack is $9.99 after rebate. Brighten your home with Patriot Lighting. The Finney Collection features a matte black finish with a metal shade. This pendant light is $84.99. This chandelier is $134.99 during Menards Oktoberfest sale. Save big money at Menards. Keep an eye on the skies all across the state wherever you are. The Mercy Health Weather Network, only at MyStateLine.com. Who's the man who's out of sight telling players if they're wrong or right? Can you dig it? It's not fair. No, it's not. Oh, who's the cat with the style making women just go wild? Can I just look at you for a minute? Who's the host making all those families cheer for 10 years? It's an all-new season of Family Feud. Can you dig it? Joey's here with one last look at your forecast. Yeah, it's very foggy out there, so make sure to take it slow as we see here on our Mercy Health Sky Track camera over downtown Rockford. Very foggy conditions. Some of us are still seeing about a half mile visibility or below. That's why we still have a dense fog advisory that's in effect for some of our northern Illinois counties and for all of our southern Wisconsin counties. That's until 9 a.m. That's when we should start to see the fog let up. And once it does, we'll still hold on to the cloud cover for the morning, but partly sunny conditions for the afternoon. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm, summer like warmth today with the high near 83. 69 degrees tonight, mostly cloudy and muggy, keeping an isolated thunderstorm or two in the forecast. Cooler temperatures for midweek and also into the second half of our work week because of a cold front. All right. Well, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. Enjoy the weather while you can because it seems like it's not going to last much longer. <laughs> the only local news and weather is next on Fox 39 or keep it here for Good Morning America. Either way, have a great day. See you tomorrow.
The American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk will be held Saturday, October 19th at Rock Valley College. Honor those touched by the disease and help raise awareness and funds for a world without breast cancer. Register at makingstrideswalk.org. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Where the kisses are hers and hers. Straight hands Straight hands Kinky. Lunchtime weekdays on ABC. Why pre-plan your funeral? It gives you and your family peace of mind. You'll relieve your loved ones of the added stress of many decisions to be made quickly during one of the most difficult days of their lives. Making your wishes known is a true blessing for your family. Your plans are easily transferable anywhere if your circumstances ever change. For more information or to receive our free personal wishes organizer, call us or visit us at FitzgeraldFuneralHome.com today. River Valley Blood Center is in urgent need of all blood types. Schedule a donation today or visit one of our facilities or mobile blood drives. Our need is immediate, so call or visit rrvbc.org for more info. Gary, medical records. You're a ticking time bomb. A wake up call before it's too late. The choice is yours. Today at 2 on WTVO. The Atrium is a memory care community encouraging independence by providing a life-enriching environment based on the Montessori method. The Atrium provides programs that support the whole person and their families with adult day care, respite care, and long-term care options. The Atrium is committed to providing ongoing Alzheimer's dementia education and care. The Atrium is a memory care community of Meridian Senior Living. For more information, please call 815-282-3340. Today, Mercy Health orthopedic team is here for you. With our nationally recognized orthopedic specialists, advanced joint replacement techniques, comprehensive sports medicine services, and so much more. The Mercy Health orthopedic team is here to help you regain your freedom and live an active, pain-free life so you can get back to doing what you love. The very best orthopedic care is closer than ever. Mercy Health, a passion for making lives better. Deal. Find yours. Right now, double your run times when you buy an AK or AP battery set and get the second battery half off. Battery power made by steel. Find yours.